What is up guys, today we have a review and a quick unboxing of Magic Trick Part 3 which was released in 2021 and it's still uh, the best what Apple can offer for trackpads, it's still the latest version of the trackpads and let's check it out, let's unbox it and see what's inside, so the price of it is around $100 and let's see what's written here so it requires um bluetooth enabled mac with sx 10.11 or later also it includes usb-c to lightning cable and basically made in china that this is what you should know and the release date of this device production date was september 2021 all right so let's open it up so the box looks like this wow it's really huge as you see here i'm comparing it with uh, my macbook here macbook air m3 and this how trackpad looks like so i already don't have but here is lightning to usb-c cable also some documents and that's it actually the trackpad itself so let's open it up okay which way it should go here that's how it looks like wow it's really huge and i don't know maybe it's 40 percent bigger than regular trackpad as you see i don't know for macbook and the trackpad itself so it's really huge and what we've got here apple logo rubber on the four corners uh, the model name is a1535 related 5 volt 1 ampere um, it's a maximum lightning of course some indicator here turn on turn off button that's how it looks like on the side so it's quite thin and basically it's also same uh, technology as used in a trackpad of the macbook so basically it's not physical clicking but actually it's clicking by uh, installed uh, let's call it taptic engine i guess okay let's turn it on so when i turn it on you can hear the click sound okay now let's connect it actually we don't we have nothing here it just started to work but i didn't connect it so i will back to my macbook Okay, currently I'm on my Mac, I zoom it for you, so let's uh, search, it's just turn on here as you see, and let's search in the Bluetooth for Magic tr Trackpad, I've got Magic Mouse also, but now Magic Trackpad is here, so let's connect, so it's connected, you see indicator here, and you see it's working, operating, let's see what kind of settings we have, the battery you see already 10%, model name version is 3.1.1 magic trackpad how they call it trackpad settings so what we have let's go one by one so we have point and click tracking speed click quiet click force click and haptic feedback although we've got force click with one finger like this i don't know whether you hear it in taptic engine works well it gives me two clicks and secondary click click with two fingers okay all, all the work tap to tap with one finger tap to click quite click let's move it's a bit louder i don't know what you hear it but the difference is not that huge force click and haptic feedback let's disable it okay nothing changed for me set up bluetooth trackpad okay already done it let's move back to trackpad settings uh, scroll and zoom so you have natural scrolling zoom in zoom out okay let's try it out let's use google maps for it for instance you can see i'm scrolling out scrolling down and it's working well uh what else natural scrolling so i think this one will be for uh four pages you also when you do it with two fingers you just go uh down and up although we've got zoom in zoom out actually it's also same here uh, in the google maps it's same gesture uh smart zoom so with two fingers double click okay it doesn't work here let's try uh, 
let's try here see this we go up go down then we have zoom in zoom out uh, then uh, what else they suggest they suggest to double tap with two fingers okay it works zoom works rotate okay i don't know here it's nothing to rotate but actually i guess it should work more gestures why between pages scroll left or right with two fingers swipe between pages so you see it will go down it will go back it will go up so i just swipe with two fingers here 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 so it works well and fast uh swipe between full screen applications so this is three fingers same as on trackpad basically you need to make it full screen and then you can swipe like this with three fingers works well um notification center swipe left uh, you to right like this also works and works well as you see i scroll i swipe from here and it works uh, mission control swipe up with three fingers like this ah, okay uh pinch the thumb with three finger this i didn't what's this ah okay it's launching you see here three fingers like this and show the desktop press the finger okay like this uh, all right basically from the settings itself uh, that's it so how it works what i can tell it works perfectly it's really light uh, it's weight almost nothing and it's really huge so you can fully operate with your hand like this and uh, although it's quite easy to set up what you can do is just connect it by bluetooth very simply and then you're here to go the quality is quite nice as you see here uh, it's not the thin, not the thick uh, lightning yeah that's a disadvantage in the future they will change it to uh to actually the type c final is for now that's how it looks like that's how it works that's how it operates when you put it here it's not it's moving really hard and it's quite convenient you see almost all your hand can fit and look how not small but smaller the other one is here all my hand can fit and you can just use it instead of mouse and still quite convenient way to operate with your laptop and the price of it is around hundred dollars and i recommend to buy it in case you have you use your laptop quite often at home on your desktop because as for me such trackpad as installed in the Mac OS uh, in MacBook uh, M3 Air is more than enough. But if you want to use it as a stationary desk, that's a really nice option. All right, basically that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Put the thumbs up and see you next time.